me great pleasure to be able to uh, welcome you, to be able to say that that uh, we are pleased that you are you've considered our area as your part of your work. And one time in the spring of 2006, I gathered together the first week of June with a number of my own species to think and think and talk and talk and plan and dream. And all this time in a river, not more than a few meters away, salmon continue to do what they've always done. Well, after my second swim down the Fraser River, uh, we formed the Riversheds Forum just to continue and formalize the dialogue that started with these swims. So instead of me swimming through their areas, we invited people together to one central spot, these amazing people who are working to protect and restore and enhance their river sheds, to come together to learn and exchange and share ideas about uh, river shed conservation and, and sustainability. I think it's a great event. Uh, I appreciate the fact that it's there's an effort to hold it in different parts of the basin. Uh, I think it's great that we're down on the coast this year and I think it's a great event to um, to connect uh, people who are doing work in, and, and are passionate about what they what they're doing on the to try to protect uh, watersheds and s fish and salmon and ultimately their communities in different parts of the watershed. It's a good combination of, of um, sort of updates on work that Riversheds is doing, uh, like for example the project Riversheds that they're in the process of launching, as well as um, uh, some presentations from some you know local people or experts, depending on the topic of the day and the theme of the event. And then they also have this uh, bulk of the time is spent on. Um, Rivershed stories where folks just stand up informally and share their story from their area and update people on what they're doing. And then there's a bunch of unstructured time too, which is just as important. Usually there's a, a sort of a walk or a field trip thrown in and, and people get to, you know, get to know the area a little bit that the meeting's being hosted in. It's a, an annual event um, that brings people together and, and over, through the years you sort of reconnect with folks that you haven't necessarily talked to for you know a while since the last event. So it's certainly a, a sort of a, a foundational you know, network that continues to, to build and, and change as the years unfold. Describe the environment in which you want to live. Shout the words, the adjectives out that tell you what, how you want things to look. These large gravel bars have just a, a really rich fish ecosystem along their perimeters. Okay, but in some years, the 2003 run was probably well in excess of 10 million fish. So that's just the gravel reach. Okay, just from Mission to Hope, these very rich. Um, Gravel beds, they wouldn't spawn in substrate sizes that large, but uh, very rich salmon spawning habitat. In terms of creating um, an effective strategy amongst us, what do we do as a collective um, together? What do we need in order to communicate? What do we need to be more effective? Those sorts of tools. Um, and so you have a sense of where I'm going. I'm going to tell you these next two questions. And so from this, this brainstorm of what do we need, um, we're going to narrow it down into what, of this list, what are our priorities? What's achievable? This weekend I feel I got a chance to um, really network and meet with other community leaders and kind of develop my own self as a young person who's becoming involved in learning about all these issues and learning kind of what has already been done and where I can fit into that. Um, and what I can contribute. So I found that was a really positive experience um, being here and uh, really grounding just to be at this location and um, speak with the First Peoples of, of this area and uh, just a lot of learning and sharing. And the Watershed Stories was a really integral part of um, just understanding what everybody else is doing and having an opportunity for me to share what I'm working on. To come here and feel part of a community that understands 
exactly where I'm coming from uh, is a different type of communication for me. It's from the heart, it's from the soul, and we can discuss the challenges, the pain that we all f share as, as wor the world changes often in ways that we don't want it to, and the joy of the solutions in the community and the people who are trying to make these things come true. This is my sixth forum that I've attended, and each time I go away recharged, and the River Center Society of British Columbia, I think, helps us to remember by using the, the metaphor of the Fraser River watershed about our connections and how, what brings us together. And I think if we think about, if we ever, ever were to lose that, where would we be as a people? And so I think very, it's very, very powerful to remember these legacies and to build on our stories, our culture. Uh, and, and we did that this weekend through um, through the craftsmanship and storytelling of Peter Donaldson, just bringing us back. But it's also very important to think about these things and, and re teach our children about it. So the Rivershed Society helps to foster that, and that's why it's such a powerful, uh, has a, such a powerful message and an important work to do. We really need to come together as a community and support each other because this is all new stuff. The environmental world is very. Um, Sometimes it's quite marginalized, so we want to feel strong with each other, and the Rivershed Forum does that for me every year, without a question. We'll be back next year.